is there's a little walk around, thoroughly dogging car park. Just show you what it's like, there's no cars in it at the moment, so it's easy to film. Like I said, this is a, a new forest. It's gorgeous down here. It's about 8 p.m. Once it gets to about 10 p.m., the car park starts filling up down here. And you get all the doggers in. You get lots of single guys in here just sat in their cars, just waiting for single females to come in, in their cars and looking for couples. Oh yes, single females do come in here. I was chatting to one the other week. She was in here. I said, uh, what are you doing here on your own then? She said, oh, boyfriend just cheated on me. I just caught him out. So I said, what brings you down here then? She says, revenge. She says, I'm going to do a few guys tonight just as revenge. I said, look inside there. I said, that's not very nice. She said he cheated on me with my best mate. So if he can do it, I can do it. So it's payback time. I thought, okay. So I sat there and then uh, she gets out of the car and she goes in the woods just over here. And you see this tree over here. She was here. Just behind this tree and four guys came in seen her come into the woods and you know the rest and she came out with a big smile on her face this is what it's like behind the car park big wooded area loads of hiding places and in the summer months it gets very very busy down here isn't that beautiful in the daytime you get people down here having our picnics and then at night time all the doggers come in here looking for some fun and they find it too it's called supply and demand there's plenty of guys down here will sit here all night in the hope that a couple or a single female will arrive in a car wanting some fun so because the couples know that there's guys in this car park then the couples come down here over there is another car park another dog in car park let's see if i can zoom into it for you over there i'll see if i can get you a bit of footage of cars coming out I've just been over there there is cars in there this car park is the most busiest which is very close to Burley it's absolutely gorgeous around these woods here and this is where all the activity goes on it's mainly busy of a weekend little bits and pieces going on down here during the week but basically Friday and a Saturday are the main two nights where we're looking for some fun you find it down here and it's all free come down here first of all and then I should go over to Cabman's Pool that's good as well there's usually uh, a guy over there with a camper van and a barbecue cooking up hot dog sausages putting them in rolls and giving them away free you can get free coffee down there amazing all you got to do is just talk to them and you get a free hot dog he's even got ketchup and mustard down there as well full service for nothing let's have a look see what's got on it there you go welcome to the new forest
So I thought it was ideal time to get you a little bit of footage. There is cars in that car park over there. And look at the sky, it's gorgeous. So yeah, there's lots of secluded spots here. And it's very, very popular. You get a few boy racers in here at night time. But not many, they don't hang around for long. I say it's in the middle of nowhere and if you see a car pull in nine times out of ten it's a dogger so dogging is very popular in the south of England there's a few places around you've got a place down in Bristol called Tog Hill but that's gone downhill now they get a lot of police in there apparently we're here there's no hassle at all the police will pop in from time to time but what they do is they look around they see who's about and if there's females in the car what they tend to do is look to see if they're young or not and if they're not sure on their ages they basically knock on a window and ask them for ID providing they're over 18 they just get back in their car and on their way I was down here one day, sat in my car, minding my own business, and a copper pulls in. Oh yes. And he pulled right in next to my car. He knocked on a window, hinting to wind the window down. I said, what do you want, mate? He said, um, what are you doing? I said, well, what's it look like I'm doing? I'm eating my sandwich. Oh. He says, uh, I just thought I'd make you aware, this is a well-known dogging car park. I said to him, thank fuck for that, I thought I was in the wrong place. I said, I haven't seen any action going on yet. He looked at me and he laughed. And he went back to his car and he drove off, laughing and joking to his mate. So they know what goes on down here. There's never any trouble down here, which is one good thing. Which is what makes it very, very popular. So yes, uh, well worth a little look if you're down in a new forest area. I'll see if I can get you a closer bit of the actual signpost as you come in. Look at those clouds over there. It looks dark, but an absolutely gorgeous scenery down here. And the sun sets down in the new forest here in Burley and Verley is absolutely amazing. In this area, this is the number one dog in sight and the other one across the road is number two. It varies. One car park can be busy one night and, and can be dead another night. There you go. Forestry Commission, Verley. The new forest dog in sight. This isn't the main dog in sight in the area. The main one is Cadman Pool. We are going over there later. But look at this, absolutely gorgeous. The nice thing about here in a new forest, it smells good, it smells fresh. All the trees and greenery. You don't smell any pollution down here. It's lovely. And all this grass here, Nobody comes here and mows it, believe it or not, that is all kept short, all by the ponies and the horses that patrol. And there's hundreds and thousands of them down here. There's also a few snakes down here as well. The other year, a little girl was uh, walking along. She got bit on her foot by an adder. So uh, make sure you've got some decent footwear if you're coming down here, because there are adders in the new forest and it's well known for it. Depends on which areas. Sometimes in the low areas, sometimes in the high areas. But if it's getting a little bit dark, you might not see them. Isn't that gorgeous in there? Amazing. So this is Verily Dog Insight.
Right, in the car park right next to me now, there's a blue car just pulled in and it's a couple in there. I was just chatting to them and they're looking for guys. And basically I says, what are you into, mate? He said, I'd just like to watch your wife have some fun with half a dozen guys. It's a little bit early, I said to him, yeah, but give it come 10 o'clock, there'll be plenty of guys in here. So they said they're going to hang around. So there you go, the first couple just arrived and they're looking for fun. There's a busy night here tonight. There's another car just pulled in and there's a single female in this one. So, so far in the car park, it's just me, a couple and a single female. I've seen that car there before. She comes in here, has a bit of fun with some guys and when she's had her fun, she drives off back to her husband. She's married, obviously. Husband doesn't know she comes down. He's obviously not doing a very good job. So she comes down here for a bit of fun. Might see her get out of a car in a minute. The windows on the car, it's not very clean here. Hopefully you can see it all right. We'll see if she gets out of a car in a minute. She's in that gray one. She's just pulled up. Yeah, she's getting out of a car now. Single female, she's married. She's told me that, I spoke to her before. Quite a big girl. And she's uh, looking for a bit of fun.